Hi, I'm Eric Lenask here in New York at this year's Telecom Exchange event. I'm talking with Rob DeVita from 1547. Rob, thanks for joining me. Thank you very much. Pleasure to be here. So start me off. Tell me a little bit about 1547. Who are you? What do you do? So 1547 is a national developer and operator of wholesale uh, data center space in the United States. We have three campuses, Orangeburg, New York, which is 20 miles north of Manhattan, Cheyenne, Wyoming, and on the island of Oahu in Hawaii. Why those three locations? Um, Orangeburg was our, is our flagship facility and, and, and our first facility. Um, we saw the, uh, the need for data center space in, in that region outside of northern New Jersey and outside of, of Manhattan. Um, so we were able to find a facility and you know, we were able to get a lot of, uh, a lot of power to, to the building. So we have a, a, a 232,000 square foot powered shell um, in Orangeburg. Uh, Cheyenne, Wyoming was really uh, driven by a customer need. Um, so Greenhouse Data is our, our tenant in, in Cheyenne. Uh, so we turned up two one-megawatt pods for them, and we've got an additional two one-megawatt pods available in Cheyenne. Um, Hawaii was a little bit uh, a little bit different situation. Um, it was an opportunity that came to us um, to really put an interconnection point in the Pacific Ocean, so connecting the mainland U.S. Um, over to the Asia-Pac region. So um, it's the only carrier hotel actually on the island. So how has that played out for you in terms of uh, becoming a differentiator in the market for you? It, it's been excellent for us. Um, you know, really in the Hawaii market, um, they're almost starved of quality data center space. Um, with only two other data centers on the island, um, our facility outside of the tsunami zone and outside of the floodplain in a purpose-built data center um, has really added a lot of value to the island. What kind of trends are you seeing in the data center space that are really uh, helping you evolve and, and changing your business? Yeah. We see a lot of people, really, the edge is moving back, or is, is moving in. Um, so we have content providers and media companies really trying to get their content closer to the end users. So you've had, traditionally had your, your large NFL cities. Now it's your tier two, tier three, and tier four cities where they're trying to push that content further and closer to the end user to um, improve performance, um, you know, mostly on a latency perspective for a lot of your, your video applications. And what does that mean for a company like yours? Um, just to be in the right place at the right time. Um, go and find these, these key assets across the U.S., um, you know, we're really in a expansion mode right now, and you'll see us uh, turn up, you know, between three and five sites in the next 12 months. Um, and those are going to be in markets that we feel are underserved for host wholesale data center space. Beyond that, do you foresee continued expansion or growth? A absolutely. Um, all of our uh, buildings sit on a campus where we have the ability to build a second and a third building. Um, so when we go in to do an acquisition, it's not really just the initial building. It's the ability for us to grow there um, and to be able to keep, um, have capacity for customers to continue growing. What's the significance of the, uh, the name 1547? 1547 is actually the distance from Matawan, New Jersey, to Dallas, Texas. Where our two, our two corporate offices are. Understood. Thank you. Rob, thank you so much for joining me. Thank you very much.